Hey, Sparklighter here again. Um, I nearly kiboshed, or I nearly messed up uh, that bearing here. Uh, let me show you. Alright, so this is the old one, but I nearly messed up the new bearing off this um, for the new one. Trying to press it in myself using the carrier and using the nut to pull it in. Um, the back bearing and race that's the intended or that's how you're supposed to do it for the back race when you put it in is you just use the pinion and the nut to press it on but the front one I got it done but it was iffy and uh, during I was a little bit sketched out by the whole situation so if you're gonna be doing this yourself grab this piece um, the bearing that sits closest to the head of your pinion and the shims that you'll want and take it to a machine shop or put it on a nice uh, arbor press and use an old race or yeah use an old race to push down on the top of that other race and get it pressed on there the right way um, now you know why I don't film my work as I'm doing it because boy I sure know how to screw things up and I don't want to screw you guys up <clears throat> uh, aside from that where am I at here so what I did is measured the pin or the shims off the original pinion right there, and those are the shims that I went ahead and pressed between my new pinion and new bearing. Um, did uh, I, I was in a hurry last night to get to my son's um, blue and gold banquet. I had to go get dressed and get degreased myself so I could show up to that. But I did, you can probably see the yellow gear marking compound down there. I did get a chance to um, do my first spin on these. And if I can get a light at a decent angle. You can see my mesh pattern is pretty dang close. Um, I still think it's a little bit to the toe, which is the top, I believe, of the gears. But I haven't adjusted my backlash yet. And according to my gauge here if I can do this for you guys and show you what you're looking for when you do this that didn't help that made it worse try that that's a little better so once you get it set up and you're in a spot first of all when you set up these gauge this gauge you want to make sure you have it as short here and as low here as is possible and then you don't want the side of that to be touching the tooth that's ahead of it I'm just barely clear of it I don't know if you can see that because when you move the pinion to check for that you don't want this gauge assembly to move at all so I had to experiment and I set it up two or three different ways before I got to this and I believe this is the most accurate way that I've set it up so far um, the zeros at the bottom and I've got it zeroed out I've got about yeah 20 thousandths on the backlash and I should be between 8 actually I can't remember if it's 8 and 12 or 8 and below but I'll check that before I go to setting this backlash again so that the fact that I'm out on the backlash and I'm gonna be moving it over to the right anyways that gear mesh pattern may straighten right up once I'm done with that. Um, it was really easy with those side bearing adjusters right through that little hole if I can get the lighting right and everything you can just see a divot on the back of that side bearing adjuster on the right hand side of that hole and that's the divot that you're shooting for to spin those. Maybe this side you'll get a better view no, just making it worse. A little bit. Yes, no, maybe. Nah. Can't see it. Anyhow, um, that's where I'm at on this. Um, once again, use an arbor press for your first pinion bearing. And I'll let you guys know how the next session of marking goes once I've got my backlash shifted over. Um, Alright. 